I have been asked whether in the years to come it will be possible to kill 40 million American people in the 20 largest American towns by the use of atomic bombs in a single night. I am afraid that the answer to that question is yes. Welcome back to our channel Study Room 26. Today, we have an incredible tale to share with you. One that takes us back to the early 1940s and introduces us to a brilliant scientist who changed the course of history. Grab a seat and join us as we explore the intriguing life and legacy of Robert Oppenheimer, the enigmatic figure behind the Manhattan Project. Before going ahead with the topic, do subscribe our channel and click on the bell icon. I am your host, Shubham. Let's dive right in. The year was 1942, and the world was locked in the grip of World War II. Fueled by the escalating arms race, the United States launched a top-secret project aimed at developing the deadliest weapon known to mankind, the atomic bomb. At the heart of this ambitious endeavor was a man whose intellect and complexity would forever leave an indelible mark on humanity. Born in New York City in 1904, Oppenheimer displayed exceptional aptitude for physics from an early age. His insatiable curiosity led him to delve into the complexities of quantum mechanics and theoretical physics, a path that would eventually propel him to the forefront of scientific achievement. As Oppenheimer's reputation grew, so did his desire to contribute to the war effort. In 1942, he was appointed as the scientific director of the Manhattan Project an assembly of brilliant minds tasked with developing the atomic bomb. Under Oppenheimer's guidance, an unprecedented scientific collaboration began, stretching across universities and research facilities. The Manhattan Project sought to harness the unimaginable power locked within the atom, a feat that required groundbreaking scientific breakthroughs. Oppenheimer and his team worked tirelessly tackling the immense challenges that came with unlocking the secrets of nuclear fission. In 1945, the team's efforts culminated in the successful testing of the world's first atomic bomb at the Trinity test site in New Mexico. The explosion was awe-inspiring, as a mushroom cloud rose into the sky, forever changing the world we knew. This achievement marked a turning point in history an event that would shape the future of warfare and global politics. However, as the dust settled, Oppenheimer's role in the project faced intense scrutiny. Some hailed him as a hero, recognizing his contribution to ending the war and potentially saving countless lives. Yet others viewed him with suspicion, fearing the dangerous path humanity had embarked upon with the atomic bomb. In the aftermath of the war, Oppenheimer faced a series of hearings during which his loyalty and judgment were questioned. The bomb he had helped create had unleashed a power with devastating consequences, raising profound ethical dilemmas. In the aftermath of the successful Trinity test, the Manhattan Project's atomic bomb was unleashed upon the cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in August 1945. The devastating nuclear attacks resulted in the loss of hundreds of thousands of lives and forever scarred the survivors. These tragic events served as a stark reminder of the immense destructive power of atomic weapons. The bombings prompted a global reckoning with the ethical implications and long-term consequences of nuclear warfare, fueling efforts to prevent further use of such devastating weaponry and advocating for disarmament in order to safeguard humanity from the horrors of atomic destruction. However, history would come to recognize Oppenheimer's immense contributions. His influence extended beyond the atomic bomb, as he became an advocate for international cooperation and a passionate voice against the further proliferation of nuclear weapons. Oppenheimer's legacy stands as a cautionary tale, a reminder of the immense responsibility that accompanies scientific discovery. In the years following the atomic explosion, Oppenheimer found solace and inspiration in the ancient text of the Bhagavad Gita, a Hindu scripture. He famously quoted a verse from the Gita saying, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Few people cried. Most people were 
were silent. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. Vishnu is trying to persuade the prince that he should do his duty and to impress him takes on his multi-armed form and says, now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that one way or another. This reflection of the profound impact of the atomic bomb on Oppenheimer's conscience highlights the weight of his involvement and the moral dilemmas he faced. Oppenheimer's experience with the atomic bomb deeply influenced his worldview and ignited his advocacy for arms control and disarmament. He played a crucial role in advocating for international agreements, such as the Baruch Plan, which aimed to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons and promote peaceful uses of nuclear energy. Oppenheimer's life and legacy continue to inspire us to approach scientific advancements with caution and responsibility. We must strive for international cooperation, promote peaceful uses of technology, and work towards a world free from the threat of nuclear weapons. So as we conclude this chapter in scientific history, let us reflect on the extraordinary life of Robert Oppenheimer, a brilliant mind caught in the cross currents of innovation, power, and conscience. A movie will be released soon this year about Oppenheimer's life story titled Oppenheimer. The film is directed by Christopher Nolan and stars Cillian Murphy as Oppenheimer. The film has been praised for its cast and Nolan's direction. Murphy has been particularly praised for his performance as Oppenheimer. The film has also been praised for its realistic depiction of the Manhattan Project. The film is based on the book American Prometheus. The Triumph and Tragedy of J. Robert Oppenheimer by Kai Bird and Martin J. Sherwin. It is scheduled to be released in theaters on July 21st, 2023. Six, five, four. That's it for today's video, folks. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the life and legacy of Robert Oppenheimer. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories from the world of science. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible.